Forged in the fires of Seoul and cast in the mold of Western MMO design, Terra arrives on American shores with a certain glint in its eyes. Promising an evolved combat experience unlike any other, it brazenly challenges the biggest online games to be released this year, but does this massively multiplayer Korean import really have what it takes to grind with the best? There is always a place in my city for heroes like you. If you can save Sarabi, we can purify our forest! Welcome to the shimmering world of Terra, a wondrous realm host to heroes, heretics, and seven fantastical races besieged by an insidious threat lurking beneath the surface. Banding together with your fellow allies, it falls on you as the next champion of light and justice to rid the world of the evils that tread in the darkness. Just another day in the park for any other freshly minted level one dog creature. <laughs> At first glance, it's the familiar elements of Terra that ostensibly stick out, from the level 60 cap and the kill, fetch, and escort quests required to get there, to its contemporary methodology on party roles and class archetypes. It's clear that the game has more than just scantily clad fixins on its mind. The bells and whistles are certainly there. It even comes outfitted with some of World of Warcraft's greatest and latest innovations, such as cross-realm dungeon matchmaking, bringing it mandatorily up to par with whatever expectations you have of a post-WoW MMO in your head. That is to say, almost as good as the genuine article, but never quite exceeding it. Get ready for soldiers corrupted by the vampires and the ghosts of a thousand nightmares. If it were purely about originality, Terra would have few chips to barter with. It's a good thing, then, that its most meaningful contribution just happens to be one of its biggest selling points to boot, coining what may be the very first example of true action combat. Terra places the breadth of what it has to offer in a style of battle evocative of a console action game. From dodges and shield blocks to the crafty chaining of combos and abilities, Terra places a considerable value on personal skill and twitch reflexes over the importance of arbitrary stats. In many situations, the game cares less about your item level than your moxie in the face of danger. The ultimate expression of this idea comes at soloing the colossal bams, or big-ass monsters, wandering the countryside, who even in their lumbering might can be whittled down by brazen adventurers seeking a bigger challenge outside of collecting wolf pelts or recovering stray weapon crates. Rather than placing a strict importance on researching optimal damage rotations, talent specs, and standing well outside conspicuously placed carpet fire, players are encouraged to think fast, act even faster, and adapt quickly in a style of play where reading deadly enemy tells can mean the difference between life and death. Where content is concerned, Terra offers a steady stream of zones, town hubs, and story quests on the uphill climb to 60. Though if you'd rather break up the pace for harrowing boss encounters and a random dice roll for colored loot, the game has over 15 uniquely designed instances seated through most of the level brackets. Here, the game's only notion of raiding goes as far as tackling hard mode versions of the existing dungeons, but there are also other pursuits for endgame adventure seekers too. Cribbing a page from Rift, dynamic events in which players of a given zone must suddenly defend themselves against a horde of invading attackers offer successful attempts with rare rewards, while those seeking more civilized conquests can run for office and preside as the ruler over an entire continent, collecting taxes, arranging NPC services, and even gaining a few perks for their own guild. I have a moment for you. For those seeking a structured and sustainable PvP endgame, Terra's offerings regrettably come off as lacking compared to the battlegrounds, war zones, and war fronts offered elsewhere. Outside of pernicious bouts of ganking out in the wild and one-on-one -on -one duels within city limits, guilds can wage war against other guilds whenever opposing members can find one another, as well as run player-organized team deathmatches where participants can set their own reward pots. <laughs> As one last unique feature, Terra allows players to barter their excess unwanted gold to other players in exchange for subscription time, an officially sanctioned and internally regulated system that the developers hope will drive gold farmers from the game. Whether players may want to actually stick around past the complimentary free month, however, entirely depends on the game's efforts to further define itself outside of its combat. For those worn and weary of the Azerothian standard, there may be little reason to look any deeper here. Die-hard MMO fans that can scarcely imagine a game without tab-targeting and auto-attacks will be pleased to know that pigs can now indeed fly. Succeeding where other action-minded MMOs like Age of Conan and DC Universe Online failed, Terra brings forth a tactile and targetless free-aiming combat system that effectively utilizes hitboxes, timing, and collision detection in smooth, satisfying ways. 
or at the very least, it makes a damn good illusion of it. And I have little tolerance for glory hounds like you. Terra's secret lies in pairing the camera controls with the motion of your mouse or USB-powered gamepad, honing the center of your character's focus on a reticle positioned on the middle of the screen. When ranged and magic classes lose their artillery, it must squarely be aimed. Likewise, the melee classes are pushed to hit exacting angles of camera tilt and strafing motions to kite, confound, or tank the game's repertoire of unique pattern-rich monsters. Cooldowns can and will miss when carelessly directed, but in the moments of an expertly executed play, such as a precisely timed tumble out of harm's reach, the feeling of satisfaction that results is like nothing you've experienced in an MMO. Follow their tracks, wherever they may lead. Even in the face of the granularity found in the glyph and crystal systems, there comes a point when you realize that your success against the BAM you're trying to solo has less to do with your stats and more with how you've grown more skilled as a player. That's a liberating notion that definitely drives a lot of energy into the action-packed moments that Terra has to offer. It'll definitely make you rethink the way the combat can and should work in MMOs going forward. Even if you're still on the fence about some of its more questionable aesthetic choices, there's little to be said against the fact that Terra looks pretty darn good. Beset only perhaps by some noticeable outdoor poppin', Terra's visuals bring together formidable Unreal Engine 3 tech and an Asian-inspired fantasy design in an eye-catching package. Bams and bosses wriggle and writhe with impressive scale, and the meticulously choreographed race and gender-specific animations per class do well to exhibit the sort of discriminating detail poured into the game's lush world. In-game cutscenes that set up crucial quests, dungeons, and plot points provide a welcome reprieve from the oft-skipped quest text. Though if you aren't particularly interested in the game's cut-and-dried fantasy spiel, chances are you'll skip those too. You look pale, even for you. You feel okay? Go forth, soldier, and bring us victory for Valkyon. On its loftiest promise of redefining massively multiplayer combat for good, Terra delivers a stunning new model of action that can't be ignored. Its only flaw is keeping the focus of its ambitions narrow, choosing to play it safe in almost every other regard with the form and function of an otherwise conventional MMO. With so many other similarly viable, comparatively more evolutionary, and now more than ever free-to-play alternatives prowling in the distance, Terra's biggest concern is if the combat is really enough. In our minds, this early glimpse into the future is well worth your time. Ha, 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 ha.